Welcome back. We are your Emerald Coast Reload team and we have covered cost of living as we go into each city. But today we're actually going to take multiple cities along the Emerald Coast from Pensacola all the way down to Destin and do a side-by-side -side cost comparison. Now guys, I know that this isn't the specifics, right? We're not pulling out your utility bills saying, hey, this is how much it's gonna cost on a monthly basis. But if you are planning on relocating into the Emerald Coast, it's good to put just these simple numbers together and be like, okay, I know, you know, technically this is better here, it's better priced here. Just realign those and then when you do finally decide on which ones you're kind of choosing between, then you can dial into those those more specific numbers. So let's just talk about overall and we actually, after going over these overall numbers, we put the cheapest next to the most expensive compared to all of these cities. So in Pensacola overall, you're looking at a cost of living index of 89. Another quick note on that because I forgot to go over this, 100 is your national average. If it's over that, then it's more expensive. If it's lower than that, then it's cheaper than your national average. Okay, going back to it. Pensacola is at 89. Gulf Breeze is at 99.8. Navarre is also a 99.8. Fort Walton is a 100.9. And Destin is a 100.9. There's also some similarities here based on where these cities are in the Emerald Coast. But Pensacola is by far gonna be your cheapest one. It is also the largest city. So they probably offer the most amenities, the most resources when we are talking about that cost of living. And then Fort Walton and Destin are gonna be your most expensive based on the overall. But let's break in a little bit deeper into these categories and see where these cities stand. All right, hold up one second, guys. We will get right back into these costs of living for all these cities in the Emerald Coast. But if you are planning on calling this home, make sure you do give us a call or text at that phone number right below. Right below right there, we have assembled the best team, your local realtors, to help you out with all your real estate needs. But if you're not quite ready to purchase, why don't you do yourself a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, notification bell. That way you're notified every single time that we put out new content on the Emerald Coast. Let's get back to the video right now. All right, let's go ahead and talk about groceries. So groceries over in Pensacola came in at 96.6, over in Gulf Breeze, 107.2, which guys, we do feel that change from one city over to the next. Yeah. If you go over to Navarre, it's gonna be 101.5. Fort Walton came in at 100.2, and then Destin at 105.3. So Gulf Breeze obviously was the most expensive in this situation. Pensacola actually coming in again as the cheapest. And we've seen this so many times, kind of like Chelsea already mentioned, where once you cross over that three mile bridge over under this little peninsula, pretty much Gulf Breeze, Navarre, and Fort Walton Beach, it does get more expensive. You see a difference in those grocery prices. So that's something to know if you are picking more of the mainland like Pensacola as opposed to these cities more out on the peninsula. All right, how does this cost of living break down in, health, in the health department? So if you're looking at Pensacola, it came in at 98.1. Gulf Breeze is a 98.4. Navarre, 98.4. Again, those are very close in proximity, so we didn't expect too much of a change there. Uh, Fort Walton, 104.2, and Destin, 104.2. Again, neighboring cities, so we expect them to be similar. So Fort Walton and Destin were the most expensive, and Pensacola, ding, 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 coming in again as the cheapest. Now we're going to break into housing, and these numbers are based off the, the cost to either rent and or purchase real estate here in the Emerald Coast. I am going to break into those median sales prices a little bit later on in this video, but for now, let's do that cost of living index. So Pensacola comes in at a 63, crazy low compared to that national average. You got Gulf Breeze at a 138.3, Navarre at a 113.1, Fort Walton Beach at a 95.6, and then Destin at a 168.1. So Destin being the destination that it is, is obviously going to be the most expensive. Then you got Pensacola again, taking the cake for the cheapest spot when we are talking about housing. One thing I will note there though, is we were pleasantly surprised to see Fort Walton actually holding strong on that housing yeah. index, especially being low and kind of comparable to Pensacola, even being as close as it is to Destin. The next category that we are going to cover is your utilities. And I will say a quick disclaimer that we were not used to utilities being this expensive. We came from Colorado where utilities seemed like they were much cheaper there. The utilities are gonna be a little bit more expensive here, more specifically like your electric bill. Man, it gets kind of crazy here. But let's kind of look over that cost of living index. So over in Pensacola, you got a 105.3. Over in here, Gulf Breeze, you got a 105.3, very similar, probably same power systems. You got Navarre, which is a 108.2. You've got Fort Walton Beach at a 103.4, and you've got Destin at a 103.4. So surprisingly, 
Destin and Fort Walton Beach are cheaper on utilities as compared to these other cities. I think it's also crazy that Navarre actually came in as the most expensive, especially because Navarre is supposed to have one of the largest solar plants than in like this whole area. Or actually, it was larger than this whole area, guys. It, when it I read huge. it, I remember it being like, from here to here, like Mississippi, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, it has a ginormous power plant right in the middle of one of the main kind of suburbia areas of Navarre. And so I did find that kind of interesting. So I'm, I'm curious to know like how that weighs in. It's something we might need to Yeah, why it's definitely the most expensive compared to a few of these other cities. All right, let's go ahead and talk about that transportation. Okay, Pensacola is at 89.8. We have Gulf Breeze at 88.3. We have Navarre 106.3. Fort Walton 90.1 and then Destin 93.3. So the cheapest here is actually gonna be in Gulf Breeze and most expensive is going to be Navarre. I think it's really interesting when one city as close as they are together is going to be the lowest compared to the highest. That is the biggest difference. Now I will say Gulf Breeze coming from the city is itty bitty. So I don't know <laughs> if that has anything to do with just our proximity or anything like that. But the fact that Navarre is the most expensive and Gulf Breeze is the least is very intriguing to me since they're neighboring cities. Now another a quick note on that as well too because transportation in the back of my mind i'm thinking oh you know buses public transit all this stuff yes that is incorporating this but this is also incorporating your you know uh, cost to fill up your, your cars cost for auto insurance your maintenance on your cars it includes all that stuff into this transportation number all right, let's go ahead and talk about miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is kind of one of those hard topics. We're like, okay, well, what is included in that? This is going to be your dining out, entertainment, um, any of those boutiques or shop, clothing shopping, things like that. So Pensacola is a 97, Gulf Breeze 105.4, not surprising, Navarre 105.6, Fort Walton 105.9 and Destin 106.3. So Pensacola came in with miscellaneous being the lowest and Destin coming in at the highest. Now, I will say moving to this area, one thing that I noticed a lot about Gulf Breeze, Navarre and kind of any of those, um, kind of beach towns, yep. you do have a lot more boutiques when it comes to like shopping and people love supporting local because you know a lot of these uh, boutique owners. And so you are gonna pay a lot more for clothes than like saying going to Pensacola and over yep. to Cordova Mall, okay? So you're gonna pay a lot more. And they, the other thing about Pensacola is they have things like TJ Maxx and Ross and, and the things that are a little bit more affordable. Yep. They also have more restaurant availability. So the all of our beach towns are gonna have really unique restaurants, which are or you're gonna be paying a little bit more for. And then when you start getting into the city, again, you're gonna start seeing some of those chain restaurants and things that are a little bit more affordable that you know are kind of controlling the prices there. Now we'll say another thing on that note, when we're talking about those boutiques, those small local owned businesses. So we came from Colorado where they're always like talking about how proud they are about small business support local. I have seen more support mm -hmm. local here than anywhere I've been Me in my too. entire life. We've had friends who've owned different shops, whether it be a food truck, whether it be a little boutique. We have a friend trying to open up a boutique here. Uh, we also have the uh, acai bowl place. Like yeah. it's so cool being able to be in a community with all these small business owners and there are a ton of them here and all you want to do is support them as best as you can it's like man i want these people to thrive these are my neighbors these are the people my kids go to you know their kids all go to sports together and it's super cool kind of being in that environment to be able to support all these small business owners i will say too because we're in a smaller area we yeah. don't have a lot of things so when there is a new restaurant coming open yeah everybody knows about it. So we have like a little Italian bistro opening up, you know, over here in Gulf Breeze. It has been the talk of the town. <laughs> yeah. We had, you know, a friend of ours at the gym, her parents opened up, you know, some ice, an ice cream shop. So again, people know about those things early on yeah. and they cannot wait. They talk about it until it opens up and then you better believe they are popping on opening day. Yep. All right, you waited around this long. Let's go ahead and talk about those median sales prices, but make sure you do stick around. At the end, we're gonna throw a bonus one in. I'm not gonna let you know what it is yet. Let's go ahead and throw in those median sales prices. So if we're talking about Pensacola, median sales price of $289,000. Quick note on that is this is not separating your single family and attached. This is both products lumped into one number. So that's $289,000 for your single family and attached products. And that is down 1.86%. Interesting. Gulf Breeze, you got a median sales price of $466,000 and that is up 19.12%. 
We have seen that. We've yeah. bought uh, two properties here si uh, since we moved here. And it's we've seen it go up. We're like, man, we got this one for this. And it's already up to here. So it is definitely going up in Gulf Breeze. Gulf Breeze is becoming desirable. Navarre, you got a median sales price of $400,000. And that is down 1.78%. If we go over to Fort Walton Beach, Fort Walton Beach, you got a median sales price of $364,000. And that is up 1.03%. Destin, <laughs> Destin, no Destin. Uh, Destin's median hit sales price is six hundred and twenty thousand dollars. We we, we kind of knew this, yeah. Median sales price, we kind of knew this, but that is up five point zero eight percent, even with it being that much higher than all these other cities that we talked about. So would that one be the most expensive? Of course, Pensacola is going to be your cheapest when we're talking about this median sales price. All right, a lot of you are probably wondering what is the bonus here? We're actually going to throw in the school counties. A lot of time when you are looking at cost of living, you're also looking at if you have a family, what are yep. the school systems like, the cities that are covered in these counties. So let's cover the three counties in all of these cities. The first one is going to be Escambia coming in at a B minus according yep. to niche.com. And then we're going to do Santa Rosa, which is a B plus. That's going to be did I t say what is Scambia? Nope. Okay, Scambia County is going to cover Pensacola. Yep. When we move over to Santa Rosa, again, at a B plus, that's going to cover, well, actually, Santa Rosa is pretty big, but in the cities that we're talking about today, it's going to cover Gulf Breeze and Navarre. And then over to Okaloosa, which I actually don't know if that's how we say it. Did we ever I think it's Okaloosa. Yeah, I think it's Okaloosa. We used to call it something so funny when, we first, I yeah, think. when we first moved here. <laughs> So Okaloosa County is actually coming in at an A and that is going to be covering that Fort Walton and mm -hmm. Destin area. So is it directly correlated with the cost of living? Kind of looks like it, yeah. but again, you gotta zoom into those counties um, when you are looking at different schools so that you can see, because the counties are very elongated here, like they cover not only the cities you know, on the beach, but then also going up into inland. So you definitely want to zoom in to see what is tying into those grades. Yeah, I mean, it is so important that you do do that, guys, because I mean, we are in Santa Rosa County. The schools here are fantastic, even though it's saying what is it, a B plus, B plus something yeah. like that. Like we could not be happier with the schools that we have here with our kids going to school. Um, so just make sure you do dive in and look at what those grades are. And if you have any other specific questions, make sure you're asking us because we can kind of give you some insight into it. Like Okaloosa County, that's the number four schools in the state of Florida. Like they have some great schools over there. So it's good to kind of know a few of those things, not by any means to push you over to that side, but there's some interesting facts about a few of these counties. All right, thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you watching. If you are looking at calling the Emerald Coast Your Home, give us a call or text that phone number right below. Right below right there, we have assembled the best team to help you out with all your real estate needs. And if you're not ready to buy, no worries. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that notification bell because we are putting out new videos every single week. And until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye.